Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Nockreiner. For today's video, I'm actually going to give you a PSA or public service announcement on secure web browsing. This story actually comes from two news items from the week. During the week, we learned that two legitimate, or at least somewhat legitimate, websites were hijacked to serve malware. If you're a fan of Jamie Oliver, the chef, his site was serving malware. Or hopefully you don't visit this site, but the adult website called RedTube was also hijacked with an invisible iframe and it too was serving malware, probably from a third-party ad network. If you've visited these sites in the past few days, you may be infected. And this is actually a very typical risk on the web right now. These are called drive-by download or sometimes watering hole attacks, where bad guys find perfectly legitimate and trusted websites that many people frequent. And they try to exploit flaws either in the site or in third-party mechanisms on the site to actually hijack those sites and force people to go to malware drive-by download download sites. Now I've talked about this issue before. Some of the ways you can protect yourself are patch your systems, run anti-malware, whether it's WatchGuard gateway anti-malware or host anti-malware, or you can even use intrusion prevention because they can detect the exploits, the browser, Java, Flash, or web-based exploits these sort of drive-by download sites use. But today I wanted to share another pro tip that I think is pretty important. A lot of these drive-by download attacks rely on script. Very regularly they rely on JavaScript. A lot of browser plugins out there will block scripts like JavaScript, ActiveScript, Flash by default. And one of my favorite plugins is one for Firefox users called NoScript. If you use Firefox, I highly recommend NoScript. This allows you to block scripts by default, which can prevent many drive-by download attacks. But meanwhile, it gives you an easy way to turn on scripts because many legitimate sites do need to use scripts to give you some of the dynamic functions of their website. Now, if you don't use Firefox, if you use Chrome, for example, example, there's add-ons like safe scripting or not script or even uh, a click to play. And also there's mechanisms that work for Internet Explorer too. In any case, if you want to stay safe while browsing online, you got to realize that even normal legitimate sites might infect you. So consider some of these browser plugins to block scripts by default. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.